Welcome back to my Defender Season 1 review. Today I'm doing Episode 6, Ashes to Ashes, or Ashes, Ashes, whatever it was called. Uh, so, yes, man, the ending. Let's go straight to it. The ending. This show, I thought, with the four characters getting together, with the crossover between their worlds, and with the big threat, this show didn't need any surprise twists or turns. Electra becoming good again, or whatever... That kind of was a foregone conclusion. So I did not see this ending coming. Coupled with the fact I didn't really like the actress that plays Electra. And I just saw her recently in um, Hitman's Bodyguard. So I was like, man, you know what? She's actually pretty decent. And then in this, it, it was like, okay, she's a mindless drone. So she doesn't have to act that much. She's just more physical. And I'm like, yeah, they're hiding her. They don't think she's a good actress. So I was completely off the scent when she killed old girl and took and you know made that switch. That that I did not see that coming. So the rest of this show or this episode didn't mean much. It was a lot of uh, Luke Cage sitting there with Iron Fist watching him. That's pretty much it. Now the couple things I did like I will say is seeing Iron Fist get jumped, slapped around, and stomped. By the rest of the defenders, everybody needed to see that. We were all chilling. Like, yes, stop, Danny ran out, please. So I, now the thing I would say is I'm pretty sure they shot this uh, before Iron Fist came out, and so to say it was a reaction to the fans' uh, reaction to Iron Fist, and they were like, "Hey, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, let's throw this in there for the fans." I don't think that's the case. I'm going to lie to myself and say that's the case, but in honesty, I don't think they did that on... I, I think that was already part of the plan. That wasn't like a, hey, let's lean into it type thing. But it was fun to see nonetheless. Uh, so my big thing with this episode is pretty much I'm conflicted with the twist because to this point, Sigourney Weaver has been the best part of the show. And while I like the defenders together... I love the concept of the hand, the five fingers that make up the hand, these wannabe immortals, how they've been trying to assassinate each other in the past. We hear the history wasn't always fun and just like, I don't know, the whole concept of them facing mortality and trying to have a power struggle at the same time. So all that was real good to me. Like it was every time they were together, it was just really good stuff. And so... I, man, I, I am conflicted on Electra doing that because it effectively ends the whole power struggle thing because now it's kind of a us versus her. And I'm not a big fan of Electra, the character, but we'll kind of see. She did have presence. She said, my name is Electra. And so that, that stuff was cool. That stuff was cool. So we'll see how it plays. I'm a little torn. At first, I was like, well, Sigourney Reaver's going to come back. But then, Electra hit her with the whack, cut the little head off. So, I'm like, dang, well, yeah, she's not coming back. So, I don't know. We'll see how that works out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this episode, like, Luke and Iron Fist having chemistry was kind of cool. They're done with Jessica Jones was whatever. Uh, so, the episode itself wasn't that, that big for me. But I would say that twist ending at the end really stepped it up for me I mean R.I.P. to my man Stick they took him out man it was crazy so I'm going to give it an 80% I'm going to give it a B it was about a C, C plus but that ending really pushed it up so uh, yeah 80% so go to the comment section let me know what you thought thumbs up, subscribe and if you heard it here it's official canon